am not blonde anymore, as you can see. I have red hair. So different. So anyway, um, today I am back and I am doing a haul. Um, it's just a couple of things that I've picked up recently and I've been trying to keep together so I could show you and not use and get lost and have it missing. I feel like that's not done. Over there. Anyway. So, also, I'll just put it out there. As you can see, I dyed my hair. I am no longer blonde. Um, I dyed it a reddish uh, auburn -y color. I really don't know. It's coming up a lot different on camera than it actually is. But, I don't know if that's even any better. It's definitely, like, red. But, it's just a complete different change for me. I've never dyed my hair ever, you know, besides like highlights or anything. I've always been a natural blonde, so this is very different for me. But it's growing on me, and I just wanted something different for fall, and I like the color it's come out to. So, yeah. So, anyway, let's just get started. Anyway, let's just get started. Um, like I said, this is just a couple things I've picked up, so just bear with me. So the first thing is actually a shirt that I'm wearing. I'll just tell you straight off because I'm wearing it. I couldn't wait. Um, it's just like a plaid, uh, silky button, no, not button, well, button sleeve shirt. And it has like the crossover front, as you can see. And it's just all over plaid print. It's like brownish color. So... This is the first thing that I got. I got it at Marshall's when I went the other night. Um, I only got like two things because the rest of the stuff was like presents for my cousins. Okay, my allergies are really bad today, so. Ugh. But I really just love this top. It's perfect for the fall. It's plaid and it's brown and it matches my hair. I've been having a really hard time finding clothes that match my hair because I just feel really weird with different color hair. I feel like I have to plan out my outfits even more accordingly than I did before and I, are, I already had trouble picking out my outfits before I dyed my hair. So you can imagine my struggle now. So anyway, this was the first thing I got from Marshalls. Um, if you don't know what Marshalls is, it's kind of like the same as like TJ Maxx and Home Goods like that. The company, it's one of those like brand department stores where they have like brands and they sell at lower prices and a whole bunch of other crap. So this shirt was $16.99 I'm pretty sure or $14.99. And the one other thing I got was just this shirt. This has no brand by the way but this is from American Eagle like as you can see I oh, they usually cross off the brand but this is from American Eagle and it's just like a pretty blue and it has like shim some shimmer in there tank top and it's kind of like I don't know if you know but the free people tank it's kind of higher up top and the sides are a little lower so it has like that flowy body I really love the free people they're called the Long Beach tank um they have the same exact style and they come in a really similar similar color without the sheen in them um but they're like twenty dollars and I haven't been able to find them anywhere, so I saw this and they had a bunch of other colors. They had like a purple and like a cream, so I might go back and get another color, but I just love this color. And this was $4.99. So those were the two things I got from Marshalls. Next, um, I went to... Let's see, let's try to do this in order. I'll go from most recent to not. Um, I went to Ulta on Labor Day because they had a 20% off your purchase. So I really didn't get that much. I really wish I could have bought like so much more stuff, but I really just got stuff that I kind of needed to like stock up on. Um, so first is this little bag. Pretty tiny bag. I just replenished um, my L'Oreal Advanced Hair Care Volume Filler. 
and the thickening shampoo. I've been using this for a while and I really love it. I just got the shampoo for now because I have to use something different for my hair now that I'm a redhead. I have to use a color protector, so I'm kind of in between the two. So I'm not really using this as much. I need to use something else, but I usually use the shampoo and the conditioner. And this smells amazing. It just smells like... I don't even know how to describe it. I don't know. But I have really thin hair, so I do feel like this gives my hair more volume. Next thing I got was this is actually my first time trying this product out. It's not your mother's Beach Babe Texturizing Sea Salt Spray. They have a bunch of products. Um, I just saw this one. And I needed kind of like a hairspray, so I kind of want to try this out because I always love my hair curly or with some kind of wave in it. So I'm trying this out, and I've used it a couple times so far. I don't remember what it smells like. I think I do like the smell, and it definitely gives you that. Te it's different than hairspray. I don't really know how to explain it. It definitely gives you that textured, tousled curls. I guess that everybody wants. Um, and I do like that it's kind of natural. It's with sea salt, and it's not like purely chemical hairspray. So I do definitely feel like it gives my hair a different look when I use this instead of hairspray. Um, these actually, I don't have the kit, but I got, I needed um, more like gel liners and eyeliners, and they just had this Ulta kit on clearance that came with like two others, but I just took these out and put them in my bag. They came with like, this is a liquid eye liner with like that kind of tip, and they came, it came with one with a pencil tip. It came with one, um, well, this is the gel eyeliner, and like I said, it came with one with a pencil, and I think one with more like a liquid. So these came in just like a little package that were on clearance that were like, I don't even know, $6, $7, and I figured I might as well just get this the Ulta brand, which is perfectly fine for what I need, instead of buying one individual for like $7. Next, I'm also trying out... That's what the cap was for. I found the cap to... I didn't know what it went to. Now I know. It's missing a cap. These are the Ulta Eye Crayon. And I've never tried these before, but I'm definitely liking the different color eyeliners for fall especially. I've been using like another eyeliner from Ulta that's silver, but the... Um, what am I trying to say? The pencil of it, it's really, really tiny, so it's really hard for it to come out under my eye. So I like that these are really thick. Um, and it comes with a smudger, which I really liked also. So I got in two colors. This one is called Birthday Girl, and this is just like the perfect shimmery color, which I love to do under my eyes just to give like that bright look. And this is in Black Plum, which I thought was a great color for fall as well. Just that purpley, plummy color. So pretty. Can you see that? What am I doing? Yeah. So these were the two colors, and it comes, like I said, with a smudger. So they just look like that. But those were great. I definitely want to try them out. And they're so thick, they're so creamy, and they last all day. So I definitely recommend them. And the last thing I got was this new, because I'm obsessed with baby lips and anything for my lips, if I haven't said that before. I got the new Maybelline Baby Lips in the new crystal kind of one that they have. I have the older ones, so it's just basically like, okay, I'm like just not with it today. I don't know if you could see the sparkle can't really see it. It's just basically like pink, but it doesn't come out as pink. It comes out more glossy looking. And this is in the color Beam of Blush. So like I said, I've used Maybelline Baby Lips before and it's just as great as the other ones that I've used. So that is from Ulta. Um, next I... I feel like I'm missing something. Probably not. Um, next I went to Express the other day and I had a coupon 
it was for like 30% off or something, 20% off one item. And I never find anything in Express. They have like such great things, but I could just never find anything that I like that I purchase. I, I don't know what it is. I usually find stuff off clearance and I did purchase two shirts not that long ago. That I think I wore in one video. I think I might have showed you. But I just, I feel like I never find anything. So I want to use a coupon. I was there. So I just bought one thing. I just bought one necklace that I think came to like $20 or something. But I just thought it was really pretty and I've worn it like a million times already. But it just looks like this if I can put it back together. They had a lot of jewelry, which I really like because I, I love jewelry. Never have enough jewelry. So this one just stuck out to me. It's just a long Y necklace. And it has a moon, then a star, then a ball. And then at the end, there's like a bar. So I was going to wear it. But I want to show you it first. Because I think it looks really good with a shirt like this that's open. You know, it shows like the detail and everything. So I've worn it a lot so far and I just think it's like really pretty. I love that it has the moon and the star because it's kind of... My sister and I, since I'm a twin, we have like a moon and a star kind of thing. Like we've always wanted to get tattoos, but she's too chicken to actually do it. I've always wanted to get like the moon and she usually gets the star so whenever we find moon and star stuff we always try to like get each other it and we wear it all the time so that's why I really like this one. And like I said I had a coupon so it came to $22. Whatever. That's that. Um, oh I completely forgot something. I went the other day. I'm trying to do this in order. Uh, I went to a store called Box Sacks. Okay, kind of like a mishmash. I want to start a store called Off Sacks. It's just basically Saks Fifth Avenue outlet. They just call it Off Sacks. You know, like, what is it called? Nordstrom Rack, Bloomingdale's outlet, like those. So we have one where I am called Off Sacks, and they have like a bunch of stuff, and they always have really great deals. So I went in and I've been wanting to get a flat. It's like, you know, plaid and flannels are like really in for this fall. And I just love them in general. So I've been wanting to get a flannel. I mean, I have one or two, but I want to get one from the brand Rails. I don't know if you're familiar with it, but they always have a bunch and they have like older styles, but I didn't find one in the past because they were all summery. So I did have a couple that were actually really nice and I picked up one. So this is just basically what it looks like. They are the comfiest, softest flannels. They're expensive. I mean, this was originally... They we sell them in the store where I work. This, yeah, they're originally like $150 for this. Like, what? I don't understand. But I wanted to get one that I would definitely wear and spend money on that I would wear a lot. So I love this color. It's blues and greens, and I can wear it all through the fall and I thought I could even wear it like in the summer with like a pair of cut off shorts because it's not so dark. So it's basically what it looks like. That's what the brand is if you don't know. I got a small. So in the store they sell things for obviously lesser than they originally are. It was $89.99 in the store and then everything's always like if you get like a more card it's like a 40% off this, 30% off that, so it was 40% off, so it came to like $50. So whatever, I just made an investment. I've worn it for a really long time, and I just decided to get one that I knew I'm going to wear more than 50 times. So that's how I always try to budget my shopping as to how much it is. Are you going to wear it 50 times? Yes, I'm going to wear it 50 times, so I'll spend $50 on it. I'm weird. So that's that. Um, we did that. And this I don't even have a bag for. I just threw it in because I just got it. I went to a thrift store the other day. If you guys don't go to thrift stores, you really should. I mean, I don't even know if... Around me, there's a lot. And there's, like, Goodwill and stuff. But I don't really consider that a thrift store. I mean, like, the churches where I am, they have thrift stores. And they're only open, like, certain days. So if you, like, find out, I'm sure that they have, like bargain stores or anything like that they have great stuff I definitely found things that 
are like cool they have like vintagey um like just old like just cool looking things some things some stores have better than others i definitely have thrift stores that i like to go to more than others but this one i went to i was at another church i'd never been in there been there before they didn't have a lot of stuff but i did find a few things also what i do sometimes is if i find something like that's a brand name or something and they sell it for cheap you can resell it. I've done it. I've resold stuff before on eBay for like twice the amount. So it's pretty cool if you find something that's like completely fine that someone just get, got rid of and I'm not going to wear it so I just sell stuff on eBay. So it's a really good way to kind of make money off of it too while you go to thrift stores and find stuff for yourself and you can sell it. So just peace of mind. So I got this at the thrift store. It's just like a blue sweater and it has like a high neck sleeveless and this is actually a brand Massimo which is what they sell at Target but this was two dollars score so I really don't care it's just like a pretty blue color and it just has the detail and this is a size medium so I just thought it would be really cute for fall with like leather pants or something and a jacket over it it's cute for layering when you don't want to wear like a cashmere sweater or like a wool sweater and be sweating. So this is nice because it's heavy material but you have room to layer. So that's that. And the last is I went to Urban Outfitters. I have never been to Urban Outfitters by the way. I know. I never find anything. I feel like it's not really my style. Not that I really think I have a style but whatever that style is I feel like I don't find anything. I mean I love their stuff but I do find that their stuff is a little expensive. I think everyone kind of does. But I went there with um, one of my friends and we went in the sale room which I didn't even know that they had a sale room. I'd never been in there before. So I found three things and they came out to relatively cheap. It's kind of like boring but I just found this plain like t-shirt. They think it was like four dollars or something but it's a large and it's just like plain and I just thought it was really cute just to wear with jeans because I always am in need of like plain white shirts for some reason so it has a little pocket too and I just ha got this um scarf like this infinity scarf this was thirty five dollars originally and I think I got it for I don't know I don't even know less than 20 because it was sale for 20 and it was additional whatever so it's just like this pretty blue and white print and it's like thick and it's just really pretty and I also got which I don't have with me because it's home I'll try to insert a picture I don't even know if you're interested it's just this copper tray looking thing it's like three tiers flowery and I just put my jewelry in it and it was like six dollars so yeah, that is everything that I've gotten so far. Right? Yeah. I mean, it's not like a lot, a lot, but I've been doing pretty good with not shopping tremendously. I definitely need to hit Target soon, so hopefully I'll have a haul with that upcoming. Um, yeah, so that's just what I've bought so far for fall and just kind of odds and ends. You know, if you're looking for cheap fall fashion, like I said, go to thrift stores, go to Marshall. They always have great things for cheap. You know, even you might think like, oh, well, this season they're not going to have anything. They have everything. I don't know. I was even thinking like, how do you, like, this is exactly what fall fashion is right now. Plaid. They have everything. They have so much plaid. They have so much leather and sweater. I mean, they have so much stuff. So try to find stores that sell them for less, sell them, I don't know, thrift stores, Goodwill, I don't know what everyone else has around here, but let me know. I mean, it'd be cool to find out if you guys have like consignment stores or something that you go to. So yeah, always check around. Don't always think you have to shop high price, high end retail. I always try not to shop retail. I always like a good deal. I think everybody does. So yeah, this is everything that I've bought so far. Um, hopefully I will get up a new video. It's a bigger haul soon. So yeah, thanks again for watching and I'll talk to you all soon. Bye. Ah!